Hey, this is Charlie, and today I'm gonna attempt. <laughs> I'm gonna change my brake, my front brake pads on my Nissan Frontier. This is a 2000, 2007 Nissan Frontier. Saturday morning, the sun is coming up, so I'm trying to do it as quick as possible. This this shouldn't take long. It's been a while but I've, since I've done one of these, but I'm gonna do it and record this, and you guys can come along. First thing you have to do is to secure your back tires and make sure you have props underneath both tires to make sure that if it goes if the jack fall off or it, or anything happen that it's gonna stay there and the next thing we want to do is I'm gonna open up my reservoir my brake fuel, fuel reservoir and keep it open so in case I want to push my, my calipers back it's gonna come up right now I'm 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 down below so that should give me enough space to push back my calipers when I get there. The next thing I want to do is to remove my tires. Loosen our nuts. Loosen that bad boy. Up the, bringing up the truck. I'm gonna get the wheel off the floor. How about the tire? Remove your lug nuts. Oh, difficult. And that's why you want to kind of loosen it before you bring your tire up. And it's me alone, so let's see if we can break it up here so you see how hard it's going to be. So now we're going to remove this and we're going to take the tire and push underneath the truck in case just be using a 916 wrench and see if that will yes it is so we're gonna loosen that a bit loosen our knot here we're gonna loosen the knot below I'm gonna loosen the one on top a bit. So we have this out. Bring that in a bit. And just loosen it a bit like this. And there she go. You don't wanna put too much pressure on that hose. So I'm leaving the bone screwdriver. One. Push it right in here, that hole right here. And you push your calipers in really slowly, and then you push the bottom one all the way in. Also. And you can see I left the bottom screw on. So here we go. We look at the reservoir, and the reservoir breaks back. It's good. And here, so we have this one out. Thank you. Second one. I want to make sure that I put the clips back. How they supposed to go. So there we go. Take out those clips. Just make sure you look at and you make sure you have them put back exactly how you took them out. So here. The good thing about the brake pad is the one go in. There's only one way to put it in. Push that in. Push that in and pull. Here we go. In. Gonna make sure that we fit that back in here. We're gonna take our bolt. it back in tighten your tighten this up so we are done 
our reservoir looks good. We'll close it up. Your part of one when it's pretty close, you can see right here. So when you're in that squeaking song, metal, the first time you hear it, you want, especially, I think it's on your, probably on your driver's side. So when you hear this going off, you want to change. So I heard mine about two days ago, so I decided it's changing time. <laughs> 